everyone, I hope you're all well. Today I'm going to be doing a Ask Jordan number two. So this is where I've asked you to ask me some questions on Instagram and I'm going to answer them for you. I haven't even looked at the questions but I've got my phone here so I'm going to try and answer as many as I can. I'm probably going to skip some because there are quite a few and um, yeah, I haven't really looked at them so I'm going to probably be put on the spot and it might take me a while to answer some of them so let's just get straight into it. I'm actually surprised people send me questions. I'm really like, yay, questions. Okay, so Fable Grace has sent me, if you could be any Disney princess, who would you be? And I did just see this question a minute ago when I just got this up and I was thinking, a lot of the Disney princesses have either been like slaves or, you know, had a crap time. Um, so I was thinking Princess Jasmine, so, because at least she's been a princess and she's had quite a luxurious life and she has a lovely tiger she gets to fly on a magic carpet and she's got an awesome tan so I'm just gonna say Princess Jasmine because she probably has the best life to start with Jade underscore Hall XOXO hi, um, has asked if you could live anywhere in the world where would it be and I would probably say America right now I'd love to live in America I went to Miami last year and I bloody loved it I was there for two weeks but it felt like there for longer and it felt like if anyone said to me would you live here I'd be like yes in a heartbeat it was amazing um, America's so good they have Sephora they have IHOP I love pancakes um, I just think America's so amazing I really want to go to California and LA um, I've been to New York which was amazing a few years ago I'd love to go back um, but yeah, I just think America is also, and I would love to live there if I could. Bethany Jane 818 has asked, Through your darkest days, what has been the main thing that has kept you going so you haven't given up? P.S. I think you're incredibly inspirational, Jordan. Watching your videos has really helped me. You're a mo role model to so many, and I absolutely for your love your channel, and your hair is amazing. Thank you. What has been the main thing that hasn't made me give up? I think it's just my character. Um... Like I did have those dark times and I was really depressed and everything but my family are really supportive and I just really want to have an amazing life and I know that even through the dark times that maybe one day something amazing may happen and may have happened and I'm having quite a good life now. Obviously there are still times where I feel low but um, I just think, I just hope the opportunity where I get to do great things in my life so I always think maybe the future is going to be better. I like living in the moment, which is always a good thing to do, because if you don't live in the moment, then you're not really living at all. But um, to have some kind of hope and just know that life does get better, I think gets you through. It's quite a hard question, to be honest, because I don't think I would ever give up, because life is worth living no matter what. Sorry if I, that was a bit of a weird way of answering that question. Millie K Dempsey has asked, who is your favourite YouTuber, apart from yourself? <laughs> um, I have so many favourites. I love so many different YouTubers. You all know I love Jacqueline Hill. I love Shannon, Janet So, Carissa. Uh, Chloe Morello is cool. Uh, I like Nicole Guerrero. There's so many that I like, and there's so many more. Um... I'm just like, ah, oh. Tashi Tinks, obviously, my bestie. Um, but there's so many girls that I think are incredible and they all inspire me in some way, in, in all different ways. So I just love, and I love, do you know what? I love watching vlogs right now more than anything. I just like seeing into people's lives. I think that's why I really like Snapchat at the minute. By the way, I've got Snapchat, add me on there. I'll put a link in the down bar. Okay, Louis X Marie. X has asked what tattoos have you got and the meanings behind them and what's your favourite that's quite a big question and I think that may be another video at some point but I'll show you one that I've just had I've had this one which was in my blog and um, it covered up a tattoo I had which said princess and it had a little bow with it and some stars well I was naughty and had the princess written when I was tw 12 <laughs> that is such a lie when I was 16 so I um it was a bit embarrassing to be 25 years old, nearly 26, going around with princess on my wrist. So I wanted it covered up with something cooler and something that I like. And I love wild flowers, so I had wild flowers. I wanted a sunflower, um, but it wouldn't have fitted around the cover-up. So I really like this, and it goes up my arm quite a bit, and I just think it's really cool. But yeah, I mean, a lot of mine don't really have specific meanings, but I just like the tattoo, or the one on my shoulder has a meaning. 
Um, I'll tell you about that one quickly. It says she dried her eyes, picked up her microphone, and I had that because when I had my car accident, I, to keep myself awake and conscious, I kept trying to sing, and I was singing um, You've Got the Love. Um, so I was trying to sing that, and these lyrics actually on my shoulder are from a Lady Gaga song, and I love Lady Gaga, so I just felt like she dried her eyes, picked up her microphone, was really perfect for that. But I have quite I have quite a few tattoos, but perhaps someday I'll do another video. But it's quite hard for me to film them all, so but stay tuned and maybe one day I'll do it. Just tell comment below if you actually want me to do that video because then I'll make a conscious effort to do it. Ooh, I need a drink. Sorry, I'm gonna pronounce your name wrong here. Ie underscore it's underscore Eve underscore says who was your inspiration to start YouTube and how do you stay so positive? Initially, the person who inspired me to start YouTube was a lady called Leia and she used to do positivity videos and um, she really helped me because I used to like watching them to, you know, for meditation reasons and um, she used to do really good tips and things and would be a really positive person. So when I first started YouTube, that was what my channel was about, which it still is, but it was more just about um, very... Uh, positivity based, it wasn't any beauty or anything like that. So she was the person who made me start YouTube. It didn't make me, but inspired me to start YouTube. And how do I say so positive? I'm not always a positive person. I just, um, I'm not at all. Obviously, I'm only going to film when I'm in a good mood. Um, so at the end of the day, I'm only human, so I am going to have down days. And I have a lot of. Um, not perfect situations in my life, like I have a lot to deal with, but um, I try and live as positive as I can, and obviously I'm only going to be happy when I speak to you guys, because I don't want you to see all the horrible sides of my life, but at the same time, I'm very grateful that I'm alive, so I try and be positive and enjoy what I do have in my life. Miss Ellie Noor has said, what weird food combination do you like? Um, I don't think I have a weird food combination. I probably do, but I probably don't think it's weird. Bad Gal Book, Bad Gal Book, sorry if I said that wrong, has said, which YouTuber would you like to collaborate? Love ya. And which YouTuber would I like to collaborate with? There's so many, all the same people as um, I said that I love on YouTube, really. Um, yeah, all those same girls. I just think they're all fab, so. Yeah, all the same ones as before. Emily Grace Palmer has asked, what hair colour would you like to get after your current colour? Well, this is really washing out and it's really annoying me because I've just got this real pink bit here and the rest of it kind of looks like grey blonde, which I do quite like, but this bit is annoying me. So if this bit weren't there, I'd like this ends the ends of my hair now, but I think I look a bit weird at the moment. Do you? What do you think? Um, so I think um, once this has washed out, I'm just going to be blonde again and then just go from there um, because I feel like I haven't been blonde for a while now, so I want to sort of be blonde again and see what that's like and then when I get bored I'll just try it dyeing it again. I'll probably just go like pink or lavender or grey. What colour do you think I should go? Let me know in the comments what you think would look nice on me because I don't really know. Monica Rio Mayer, I think that's how I say your name, has asked what, what do you love the most in your life? My friends and family and Mike um, and makeup and you guys obviously. Steffi Slater has said, what is the one product you couldn't live without? You make my day better after I've watched your videos. You are beautiful. Thank you. That's quite hard, but I think one product that I couldn't live without at the moment is um, Roller Lash from Benefit, because I love that mascara. I think it's amazing. And also Dip Brow from Anastasia Beverly Hills. Yeah, I'd say those two products. I can't think of one product that I couldn't live without because I change my products all the time. Like I wear different foundations, I wear different eyeshadows, I wear different lipsticks. I don't wear the same thing every day. There's not, at the moment, the only two things that I use every day really are the dip brow and the roller lash. So they're two products I couldn't live without right now. Zyad1416 has said, are you planning to visit Dubai? I really would love to visit Dubai, um, my auntie and cousins and uncle lives there, so it would be lovely to visit there one day. I'd love to just go anyway, like even if they don't live there, um, because I think it would be lovely. And I think apparently it's supposed to be quite accessible, so I would like to go there and stay in one of the lovely hotels, and it would just be really nice, I think. Um, I'd probably go there when it's not too hot, because I'd probably be too hot like at this time of year, so maybe one day I will. So, yeah. 
Danielle X119 has said, you're such an inspiration to us all, but who do you, but do you have anyone to look up to as an inspiration? I think you guys really inspire me because you leave me such amazing comments and it inspires me to carry on with, um, you know, being positive and it, you inspire me to keep doing my videos and inspire me to want to achieve uh, and do well at YouTube. So you guys really do inspire me to um, be positive with all your lovely comments and my family do as well because they inspire me to be who I am because they all seem so proud of me so people around me inspire me and you guys definitely inspire me just hearing your stories yourself it just makes me think wow you guys have been through so much too um, and I like the fact that in some way I may be helping you I don't want that to sound like oh yeah she's helping you but I, it's only from what you've said and that does really inspire me and it really warms my heart so you guys inspire me Fan underscore S underscore Ho has said, how accessible is the city you live in and do you drive and will you drive? And or will you drive? Um, the town I live in is fairly accessible. It's just a normal town, really. Um, yeah, it's fine. Um, I don't drive. I could do if I wanted to, but is isn't something I'm really that interested in. Um, not for any reason. I don't think anyone would get in a car with me because... Um, they probably wouldn't feel safe, whilst my boyfriend and my mum said they were like, no. Um, so I'm not really bothered about driving, but my town's pretty accessible. Um, but I deal with any problem around, like it's, if it somewhere isn't that accessible, there's always a way around it. But I think definitely this town is pretty accessible. I mean, I've been places that are really like, unaccessible and it is pretty hard, but you can deal with it in some way. Abby X Harris has said, what are some of your beach holiday essentials? Well, if I'm going out in the daytime on holiday, going to the beach, going to the pool, I don't really like wear much makeup or anything. I'd probably put on some eyebrows and I'll either have my eyelashes tinted or I'll have like my eyelash extensions done so I don't look like I have to so I don't really have to do my makeup in the day. So I don't really have anything for the day, but obviously a really good SPF because you've got to take care of your skin. Um because you'll end up like me and have to have loads of moles removed because they might be bad, which one of mine was. Um, so having a good SPF. Um, after sun as well, so you don't peel because you want to have a bit of a tan. Um, what else do I have on holiday? I haven't been on holiday since last year. Sam Celeste Harris says, Jordan, do you plan on having kids one day? I love what your videos, by the way. You're such an inspiration. I really enjoy your accent also. <laughs> love from New Zealand. Um, yes I do, um, I haven't got any plans but I do, I haven't got any set plans or anything but yes I will one day hopefully. Adriana Prevlovac, sorry if I said your name wrong, said what is your favourite word and your least favourite? I don't know, what is my favourite word? Fabulous, <laughs> I don't know, I don't have a favourite word do I? Unless there's a word I always say then let me know but I don't really think I have a favourite word. Actually, I don't know if that was a question in my last Q&A and I did answer it. Maybe I'm wrong. Samosaurus has said, if you had to give up all your makeup, horrible thought, yes it is, <laughs> but you get to keep three products, what would they be? My brow pomade, my roller lash, and then, oh no, probably a fake tan. Yeah, because then I could just be brown. It doesn't really matter if I... Like, if you haven't got makeup on but you've got a tan face or something, you look okay. So those three products, I think. Georgia and Scarlet has said, I find you inspirational, Jordan, but if you could rewrite any part of your past, which part would it be? Would you change it at all? Well, of course, I would uh, not have got in the car, um, <laughs> which crashed, which made me paralysed, because that's changed my life forever. So that's kind of a... I don't know, probably not an obvious one to other people, but it kind of is a massive one that would change. <laughs> Chesabella13 has said, in your future, what are you most looking forward to? Um, just seeing where it goes, really. I don't really, like I said earlier, I like looking to the future in the fact that I hope good things happen, but I don't really think, right, I'm really looking forward to this or, you know, um, at the moment I'm really looking forward to moving into my new house because it's still not ready. So that is the closest future plan I have so that is something I'm really looking forward to. It's good to live in the moment like I said earlier but um, 
I'm just looking forward to seeing where my story goes in life. So yeah. Kylie PHX, Kylie Fix, has said, tips for an American girl in a wheelchair who wants to travel to England. How do you get around the city? What are your favourite spots? If you're on about like London or anything, I mean, the tube is pretty rubbish. There is a couple of tube stops that you can get off, but I just, if I ever go to London, I just get into a black cab. Um, a black cab because they have like little ramps that they put up. Sometimes they can be awkward and not stop because they can see you're in a wheelchair, which is really annoying. But to be honest, it's not that difficult. There's, the paths are really wide. Some of the um, pavement, uh, what do you call them? Some of the curbs are really high, so just go down like a slopey bit um, and you'll be fine. It's quite pretty easy. If you go into a city, it's not that hard really. Um, you'll be fine. Especially if you go to like a shopping centre or anything, everywhere's smooth and fine. Um, it's probably pretty similar to America really. Jessica Annabelle Bree has said, what is the best high street foundation? be honest I don't have that many high street foundations but I like true match I haven't used it in a while but I do like true match from L'Oreal and I also like one from Avon which is a luxe foundation from Avon um, which is quite reasonable too Eden K dot XX has said what is the hardest part about being in a wheelchair mine is about not being able to be spontaneous that is so true because you can't just think right I want to sort this out, I want to go here today, I want to do this because you have to rely on so many other people in your life so you know you can't just be like right let's book something today and go tomorrow because you need to have more of a plan in set um, in place which is crap. You don't always have to but most of the time you do so that is the hardest part. I think it, the hardest part for me as well is not being um, independent and having my own space so much like I'm always around people which is fine but I mean like that is difficult at times when you just feel like Phew. and I tell you what one thing that probably is hard as well is just in the morning I can't just jump out of bed and just go snuggle on the sofa and have a cup of tea before I get ready or something I just take so long to get ready um, and not feeling that comfortable sometimes it's really hard even when I get in bed these days I don't even feel that comfortable I don't ever feel like I get that much relief from pain not necessarily pain but I don't ever feel relaxed that much Jordan LCC, who is your top three favourite YouTubers? I've said that already really, all the people I love, um, so I won't repeat myself, but I'll just mention your question, I don't really think I've ignored your question. From beginning to trend, <laughs> has said, hi Jordan, any suggestions for beauty bloggers just starting out? I'd say be true to yourself, only write about things that you, or write good things about things that you actually do like, don't just... Um, say something's good because you've been sent it or something um, because you don't need to just don't bother or be honest um, and just say true to yourself um, just try and um, have something that makes you stand out maybe um, I'm still you know I'm not starting out but I'm still not got that many followers really so I would like some tips too I don't know if you mean YouTube or blogging like typing um, like a written content blog but if it's a written content blog then make sure you get decent photos um, because it's nice to have something visually good to look at. S Dalio 24 what is your favorite makeup essentials that can be get that you can get on a budget? Um, although I love roller lash I do think you can get great mascaras um, from the drugstore I mean you can get a lot of products that are from the drugstore that are really good um, but I find mascaras are generally quite good, um, especially, um, I really like the Colossal one from Maybelline, I think it's Maybelline, and the Maybelline Eye Eraser, um, concealer, which I think is a must-have, because I think that's one of the best concealers. Miss Vicky Angel, how many kids do you and Mike want to have? I don't know, maybe two? Humaira03 has asked, who's your celebrity crush? Well, I think we all can agree on that Caleb from Pretty Little Liars is pretty. He is lovely. And so me and my friends are always like, Caleb. So he's my celebrity crush. I don't really think I've really got any celebrity crushes really. But like, because I'm loving Pretty Little Liars right now and it's like everywhere. I'm just like, Caleb. So he better not be A because he will make loads of girls really heartbroken. 
Miss Vicky Angel has asked me another question. If you could choose any career in the world, aside from blogging, blogging or beauty, what would you do? Um, I was going to say like work for a magazine or something, like write a column, but I suppose that's quite similar to like blogging. But I suppose it is kind of different. Or I would like to do like maybe TV presenting or something like that. That'd be really cool. And Grace Blog has said, what's your favourite go-to makeup look for an evening slash special occasion? For an evening, I like being a bit more dramatic. So, depends what it is. If it's like a wedding, then I think nice and glistening and gold and then just like not too much, but just pretty. But I think if it's like a night out or something, I like to be quite bold and wear lashes and smoky eye and just as <laughs> put as much on as I can. <laughs> and that underscore 2311 has said, for someone who wants to revamp all of their makeup, what are your top five must-have products? Ooh, Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow. Roller Lash. I'm saying the same things over and over again. Um, I'd say probably um, maybe a Morphe palette because they're so big and so affordable and just really good. So definitely a Morphe palette. And if not, then maybe um, a Urban Decay Naked palette because everyone loves them and they're essential in a new makeup collection, I feel. MAC lipsticks obviously because they're like some of the best or Gerard Cosmetic lipsticks which I love um, and I'd say the Anastasia Beverly Hills contour kit or the Kat Von, Von D shade and light palette because they're really good I think you need to have a contour kit in your collection if you're revamping your makeup Joanne Mitchell what did you find most difficult to adjust to not being able to walk or not being able to open your hands you're such an inspiration to so many people thank you um, I think the, I don't think it's about adjusting because it was kind of like, I don't really feel like I had to adjust, it was really weird. Um, but I think the hands are the hardest part. I think if I was like maybe a paraplegic, it would, it would still be, you'd still have hard times but you'd have a lot more independence because you've got your arms and your hands, you're stronger. Um, I haven't got my triceps either so I can't feel the back of my arm here. Um, and the muscles don't really work and I can't move my hands so I can do this but I can't move any of my fingers and that is probably the most difficult part because if you've got your hands you can do everything like if you sat down in the chair you can pretty much do everything um, it's obviously harder life will still be hard reg regardless but I think it would be a lot easier if I did have um, my upper body Savannah Day oh. Savannah Day has said, what are your favourite makeup brushes? My favourite makeup brushes are Sigma brushes. I think they're excellent. I've used them for a while now and I just really, really like them. But I've come across Morphe brushes as well and they're really good. Um, but my go-to brushes are usually Sigma. Bella Block has just asked me, favourite makeup? Now that is probably the biggest question. Um, I'd probably have to do a whole video on that. I'd probably have to have all my favourite complete products and show you, so I can't really ask, answer that, but whatever products I use in my videos, I generally like. K1968 has said, what is your all time favorite cocktail? I love a French martini, like they are so nice. But I only came across them like a couple of years ago, but before that it was like Cosmo, um, but yeah, at the moment it's definitely a French martini. Sam underscore N underscore Olsen had said, favorite section of Great Britain? Colour theme from your upcoming wedding. Favourite downtime hobbies behind makeup. So three questions there. So favourite part of Great Britain. I don't really know. Do you know what? It's not like I've been around the whole country, so I don't know. I know like up north is supposed to be really pretty, like the Lake District and all things like that, but I haven't been. Um, I've only really been more like down south or, you know. So I do really like London. Um, I really like Brighton, we went there last year and that was lovely, really nice. But then last month we went to Newquay but I didn't get to see much of it because um, we went to my friend's wedding but it looked beautiful, like the sea was blue and it was like, oh my god, I live near the sea and it's grey. <laughs> oh, colour theme for your upcoming wedding, I haven't planned anything for my wedding yet, like that's just not even being thought of at the moment because we're moving house and we're building our own house so we've had to pick everything. So that's consumed my life really. And favourite downtime besides, uh, hobbies besides makeup. I just love watching 
TV series. I love watching Netflix, Amazon. I love watching Game of Thrones right now. That is what I'm loving. We've just visit. Uh, we've just finished season four, so we're gonna go on to season five, and I'm loving it. Lou Wright underscore has asked. Well, my voice is going all funny. When are you moving into your new house? Would you and might get any pets? Pets when you move in? I don't know when we're moving. There's no date, which is really frustrating, but. It's hard to really say a date when you're building your own house. Um, and would we get any pets? I don't think so right now. I've got two dogs already. Lilu Beauty has said, How do you keep your blonde hair hydrated and lovely? Well, it's not really blonde now, but um, I don't do anything special with my hair at all. Like, at the moment, I will... I, I used to wash it every day, which is really bad, but now I've left it a bit longer because I've had this colour. But then I was doing it probably every second day. And then before I dry it, I always put um, a detanglia, a detanglia, a detangle product spray through it, like Aussie, um, and then like um, I think I'm using a. Sorry, I'm just trying to look for it. I think it's a KMS serum, which I put on the ends just to make sure that it doesn't dry out. But to be honest, my hair does feel a little bit dry at the moment. I think I need to put a mask on it, but I don't do anything fancy. Manina forty ninety two has said. I'm physically challenged and in a wheelchair too. How do you stay true to who you are and not let others' closed-minded negativity get to you? Um, I don't really have like any bad comments or anything. I mean, I get the comments about like my hands on my YouTube videos, but which is annoying. But I don't let it get to me too much. Um, I always stay true to who I am because I am who I am. Leanne has asked, "Do you want to dye your hair any other colours?" The pink purple looks amazing. Thank you. Like I said earlier, I'm not sure what I want to do. I probably will go blonde next time. But I probably wouldn't really go from far from these kind of colours, really. Smarty underscore V has asked, Hi Jordan, what do you do when you have a bad day to stay positive? Do you have any tips about how to start for meditation? By the way, I think you're simply amazing. Thank you. Um, when I'm having a bad day, I just try and cheer myself up. Like, do something that I enjoy and something that I like. Like, I try and forget about that horrible thing and just... Try, sometimes write the day off in a way and just think right today if I want to just watch TV or Netflix I will I don't do it that often in the day but I will just do what I want to do because if you're in that bad mood where you just can't get out you sometimes just need your own space and and I think sometimes if the weather's nice get outside and have some fresh air and just breathe and just remember what matters in life and with the tips about meditation I'd say um, just go on YouTube guided meditation just sit there and just try them Tashi Tinks has asked, my girl, hi girl, <laughs> um, what actress would you like to play you in a film of your life? Well, I love Legally Blonde, so it probably would be Reese Witherspoon, because <laughs> um, she's got blonde hair and blue eyes. Sophie Clayton has said, hi Ham, what did you do in your fashion journalism course? Did you like it and what uni did you do it at? It's like my dream course to do. I only stayed, um, I only done my first year and started the second year. I didn't enjoy it as much as I thought I would. We learned about the history of fashion. We had to do a photo shoot um, and make it like appropriate to a sort of magazine. I can't remember everything we done. It was quite a few years ago now. Done quite a lot of stuff, um, but I didn't enjoy it really, um, so I left. But I was at Epsom. Uh, it was the University for Creative Arts. So if you look up that, if you want to, then obviously if that's something you really want to do, then go for it because. Other people loved it, but it just weren't really for me in the end. Colour post underscore daily saying, when did you start YouTube? I started YouTube actually right back in around 2010, I think. But it was kind of like just sporadically putting videos here and there. It wasn't, um, I didn't really understand YouTube so much. I would just sit at my laptop, put my web webcam on and just speak. Chloe, Chloe Dolly Bow has said, Jordan, you're always so stunning every makeup look you do. <laughs> well, thanks. <laughs> What's your beauty must have products and what have you been loving recently brand wise? Love your videos and your hair. Thank you. I've answered that question quite a few times now. So like I said, I've mentioned your question but um, I've already answered that really. Tay underscore Carly has said, who's your favourite person from Cornwall? We know who that is, it's you girl. <laughs> That's my friend who um, got married last month. Nul <laughs> no. N U L L E O L. Sorry. Um, what's your favourite memory? I haven't got a fav like one specific memory that I'm like, ah, that was the best. I just feel collectively there's loads of little bits of life that you just want to pull together and it, it all makes perfect like 
little collection of memories. Rebecca underscore Ocamp, what is your favourite brand of lipstick? Favourite brands of lipstick? Oh my god, that's really hard. I really, like I said, I love Gerald's Cosmetic Lipsticks. I think they're really good. Um, I've got one Tom Ford lipstick and I just think it's amazing. It's really good. I mean, it's really expensive, but um, if you want just one, then treat yourself because they are really lovely. And MAC lipsticks are probably something that I really adore. Anyway, that is all of the questions. I can't believe we've got through that. Like, I've literally answered every question that was on my Instagram. Whew. If you want me to do an Ask Jordan number three, then I'll do one in a couple of months' time, maybe, to let me know. Um, maybe leave me some more questions in this video. I'm just thinking, I wonder if there was a bit of questions in my previous one. Whoops. But maybe put some in this video anyway. Um, but yeah, I hope you have a great day. So I'm going to love you and leave you, and I'll speak to you in my next video. Bye!